Hey guys, my name is Prince Mason. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Ellen Ogudi. And today we're going to be sharing tips on how to run a successful photography business. So step one is creating a niche for yourself and knowing, you know, um, having your particular style, the style that you're known for. Building right? your portfolio. Yeah, building a portfolio, you know, creating a niche for yourself and building your portfolio on that thing. So if you're a wedding photographer, everybody will know you as a wedding photographer, right? And if you are uh, a portrait photographer, then everybody will know you as a portrait photographer. Creating a niche for yourself so that your clients can know that this is what they're getting when they come to you is actually key and it's part of like, or well, it's one of the major ways of improving your photography business. Yes, build yeah. your portfolio. You know, that's what you said. You have to work on, in the beginning, you're not going to get paid, you know, if you're just starting out. It doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and create, because that's how you create your niche. That's how you discover what it is that you like to shoot, yeah. what you like. You're creating a brand, you're, you're attracting a tribe, of people who you know appreciate your work so don't wait to get paid in the beginning just go out and shoot 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 okay okay that's good so now let's talk about social media right so after you've made all those beautiful pictures mm -hmm. then social media so social media is key for marketing and actually pushing yourself out there i started with instagram and i've been on instagram for a very long time probably three to four years now and my instagram following has grown considerably well oh yeah and it's we know the that. way <laughs> it's my major way of getting my clients it's how i've gotten most of my clients and from there you know then referrals coming but let's talk about social media and actually how to improve how you handle your social media you know marketing and everything. Well, you're the expert. Um, First is first, create a niche for yourself. So mm -hmm. when people come to your social media page, they can see a particular um, yeah. style. They can see a particular kind of picture or some particular types of pictures that are looking for. So if you're a wedding photographer and you are posting weddings today and portraits tomorrow and all that, I think your clients tend to get confused. Mm -hmm. So you have to find a particular niche for yourself on social media. You have media. to be able to think when your client thinks, okay, I want this. This is where I have to go to mm -hmm. get this. It should show when they get to your page. Do not have your business page as your personal page. We don't want to see what you ate for breakfast. We don't yeah. want to know. So if you want to show what you do, um, do a personal page and refer people who are interested in your personal life to your personal page. But keep your business page um, strictly business. business. So another thing about social media is posting regular. How often do you post? Um, I post. <laughs> She <laughs> posts 10 times a day. <laughs> do not, I post as freely. Do you. not post like that. She posts 10 times a day. We get frustrated. You know, I think Instagram looked at her and they did the whole slide thingy. Like, I can put one on one picture. Actually, when that her. thing came out, the, the day it came out, Prince called me and I was like, Elno, look, they made this thing for you. And I tried it just one day. I'm like, uh, yeah, it doesn't so, have the same visual impact yeah, as posting so, in Yeah, so she keeps posting like uh, then, uh, just you know she feels that time right now. Don't do that, please. Don't be like Elena. Branding. So branding is so important because we are there's so many photographers. So how do you stand out in a sea of photographers? Mm -hmm. It's all about the branding. Yeah. You have to know what your X factor is. You have to know it's you have to have a tagline. My tagline is clean, classic, vintage. So anyone who's looking for clean, classic, vintage knows to come to me. If you're looking for fashion, edgy, you know. But you, that high end pot, uh, retouching, you know to go to prints. Mm -hmm. So this is what this is what you know makes you stand out from the crowd. So if you if you're not if you're not paying attention to branding, you should start doing that yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. Another thing I'll tell you: work on like your logo, work on your your um, what do you call it, cards, <laughs> your business card, work on your websites. These things go a long way to help you with your branding. People want to see premium. If you are going to charge a lot for, um, if a client is going to pay you a lot of money to actually you know. Do their shoot for them, then let them see that there was an actual thought process. Yes, yeah. your your business. So the last thing we talk about is services, mm -hmm. right? So how people handle your services and how you know your pricing. Pricing. Yeah, and how you handle customer services. Yes, it is important that your client feels that they are getting a fantastic customer experience. Yes. You know, you can't just you, you have to reply emails on time. You know that when well, from the time pictures are taking up until they are delivered, there's this excitement. They want to see their images. Yeah. So if they take pictures today and it's taking you a month to edit, by that time they've lost that, you know, yeah. that you, you don't want that. You want everything fresh. You need to reply emails. Even if you don't have the answer to the questions that were asked at the time, still reply and say I'll get back to get you. Back to you. Yeah. Communication is key. And I think it's pricing. 
um, I think know how much you're worth or know the value of the work you're giving out to people. Don't overprice and don't, don't over underprice, over right? And do not you know, charge according to what your um, fellow photographers are charging or what your colleagues are charging. You know, know your own value and charge what you think is right for your yes, yes. for your level. So with this viewpoint, I'm, I'm hoping that will help somebody. I'm hoping so too. Okay. <laughs> so um, this is Eleanor Woody. I'll put her name in the description below. You guys check her out. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, if you like this channel, and I'll see you guys soon. And maybe you'll have me back if you if you write good things. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs>